Here we are again, back at the lake, a little bit of maintenance to do after literally a month of sleet, rain, wind, snow, sun, sleet, snow, sun, rain, wind, and that's all in one day, every day for the last month. The wind's finally dropped down and it's starting to look a little bit more like it should do in April, albeit it's the 29th or something today. But having said that, a little bit of maintenance to do. So we're around in the uh, cow fields, for those of you that know. Lodge is over on the opposite side. Uh, it's the one with the artificial grass, put it that way. Over the years, the place has been added to, bits and pieces. You see how wet it's been, I've had to throw a little bit of extra couple of bags of wood chip down just for guys to be out to fish here. But anyway, the plan is we're gonna sort out this side. Those of you that have been here probably noticed before that it runs uphill come over here a bit show you runs up hill over there it's all bits and pieces the first first bit ain't too bad needs leveling out but 10 a ton of wood chip coming uh next week um and basically the plan is we'll extend these sleepers down here right the way through along that line and then the angle of the bank to fish up the channel there where you know there's a hole in the middle, blah, blah, blah. We'll get that angle better, so it better suited to the rods and netting fish and what have you. And then some of those reeds and bits and pieces down in the corner here that also block the line lay, keep the fishing if it's doubled up in this swim. This little bit can be a little bit tight for three rods and trying to net a fish when the other guy might be fishing over there. So basically we're gonna make this half similar to that half and get it all smothered in a decent bit of wood chip. I we'll started pulling out a couple of sleepers, pulled out some old bits and pieces, um, and we'll go from there. So uh, hopefully all goes well. Weather stays nice. Should be dry for a couple of days or more now, which is good. And um, keep watching if you're interested, and we'll see how it turns out. Speak to you soon. sun's out it's looking good um, as usual a little bit of destruction to go forwards but we're already over here got the little digger out try and scoop out some of this rubbish on the edge behind the bucket there you see all that little bit of um, scrub and bushes that needs to go we'll lose these couple of bits of reeds make it all clean through the front tie it up there Try and get it levelled. Piece of cake, but important piece of equipment first. Cup of tea. Well, cup of tea over. Into the afternoon. Blimey. Better get this fixed before someone turns up, eh? I've dug out a fair old bit there, but... Um, looks like one of them times where you've got to tell yourself you've got to go backwards to go forwards. But... <laughs> No problem, it'll all look good in the end. That's the main thing. We'll dig this little drainage ditch out. It runs up the side here. And goes around the back of the swim. Takes all the water off the fields behind. Which is why the artificial grass is here because this swim is just a muddy puddle. Everything that runs off there, you can see that land is higher. Floor level here, it goes up there. All comes this way, catches into that ditch, which is, uh, previously dug by hand so we'll uh, improve that while we're at it but at the moment looks like I've got a bit of tidying up to do but hey sun's out it's looking good so let's have fun well I think we're getting somewhere got ourselves a line in there which is looking better Got a lot of ground to get rid of grade that out a bit of excavation here next and get some sleepers in here then we've got our level to work to the lake's full at the minute so Water level's working in my favour because I know if it's right up on the edge it ain't gonna overflow at some other date. Started clearing out the ditch. And generally a right old mess. Oh, it's a quick update, been a bit busy. 
sun's still out though, so it's all good. We've got ourselves a flat level area in there again now. There's some new sleeperage. Needs to dry out fairly well, but water level's nicely down by the boards now, which is good. Them odd ones still got to come out. We're straight through the middle and off at the other side. Got a mountain there, a couple of cubic metres to clear over there. Lose this bump over here and hopefully cut a couple of little steps in there, make it look a little bit pretty. But uh, not a bad start. It's starting to get a little bit better. So, uh, yeah, quite pleased with the afternoon's work. Day one, gonna wrap it up now, the rain's coming back, but we've got ourselves a little bit of a tidier level swim. Hard oh, to see the angle, I suppose, but it's a lot flatter than it was now. So, ground all needs whacking down. Um, then a bit of a chip on there. Hopefully next week without a load of rain. So, uh, yeah, quite pleased for day one. We've still got a mound over there to get rid of, but that's not a problem. Level that bit out where the grass is, where it gets muddy, and then we've got some stone coming. So, uh, yeah, time for a bit of dinner, I think, and something to uh, drink and uh, see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully a nice sunny day. So a bit of, doing, a bit of shovel work. There it is, shovel's having a rest, I'll find. <laughs> uh, just starting to build the step in there. All this bit of ground's got to drop down about eight inches. So we can get all that area covered in stone. A bit of drainage, somewhere to keep your old all. And a bit of dry work onto the uh, artificial grass before you get over to the business end of things. So slowly but surely, we'll carry on. And uh, hopefully it'll look all right by the time you roll up here. Bit of edging in so we can stone line the back, line that ditch as well in a bit. Ah, a bit of clearing up the dirt, obviously still, as I keep saying. Still got the dreaded bit of grass, but got the start of a little step in there, so uh, that's good. Get Dougie the digger on the move again, get some of this ground out. Get it down to the level it needs to be now. Slow, steady progress on your own. Raised up level there, that little bit of stone around the back there. No official grass here. And a nice flat, hopefully shortly wood chipped fishing area. And we're getting on well, there's more to do. End of day two. Ready over here, a bit of edging. And a drainage ditch, a bit of stone. That's got to be underlay. Got our inset there, a few bits and pieces to hold it down. Waiting for the stone. Got the entrance done. Not too bad. All in all, starting to take shape. But, more to do yet. So yeah, beautiful day yesterday. Got quite a lot of work done. Um, popped out to uh, suppliers to make sure we could get some. Uh, supplies and we've had them this morning so it's not the sort of thing you can pop down B&Q and get as you can see there is a uh, 10 cubic meters of wood chip here that goes and fills up the old bloody car park so uh, got 
quite a bit to do. Get this spread out and uh, make the place look a bit prettier. But yeah, that's uh, that's rolled up and a couple of metres of stone to follow. So uh, yeah, I better get the shovel out. <laughs> No surprise, started with the closest swim, but that's the difference now. Looking a lot better, ready to go. Bivy up, get your rods out. In the boathouse at the moment. Gonna do the next closest one now, the lodge. So yeah, basically, that's what the lodge is at the minute. As you can see, stone's all good, but it's degrading down. It's, because it's, uh, the weather's been so bad, it's a little bit late getting the delivery, but, oh, used to absorb all the moisture and wet. In the end, it becomes the moisture and wet. And all rats are coming up, so. That's how we are at the minute. Back on that pile. See what we can do. Don't miss about here. Five ton of stone. Sort of out to drive after all this wet weather. So that's that done as well. Another bit of fun. Guess that's my day taken care of then. I won't be down the pub. I'll be trying to clear my van. <laughs> oh dear. Still could be worse. Could be sitting in the traffic jam, is what I always say to myself. So thanks mate. Bonjour, eh? Have a good day. Let's get on with it. Oh, two down, five to go. But that's been the easy two, the quick two. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So yeah, that will last for two years, that lot, and then we'll go through the process all over again. I ain't looking forward to doing that one over the other side. A couple down the dam. Island Mimi's and Noodle, all the way down there. Still, let's get on with it. Empty barrow won't get as far. That bit sorted then. That one next. Well, so I am blowing, but hey, that one's done. Serves the Mimi's and the uh, island, serves the lodge, serves the boat ass. So it's them two buggers over that side to go. Right, so that is what is left. A mountain of wood chip. We now have a wood chip covered car park, which weren't intentional, but there has been so much of it, it's just uh, crazy. So, uh, old Pongo there still waiting for his annual wash. We now got wood chip everywhere. I asked for 10 cubic meters, and uh, I reckon I must have got a minimum of 30 for some reason. Maybe they can't count, I don't know, but as long as I'm paying for 10, all happy days. So, there's a load there for the next time, or Help yourselves if it gets bogged down in six months, I doubt it very much. But uh, all the swim's looking really good now. I'm just out waiting for the stone to be delivered. The white stone, like Cotswold stone, which is not so easy to get here. Simply because it's Cotswold stone. But um, it's a lovely day on the lake. Fish have been boshing about. And... Uh, Let's go and have a look at the cow fields. That's what it was all about over there. There we go, coming in, still waiting for the stone for here. And up the back, no problem. That uh, is all wood chipped. Seems like a lifetime ago I was doing this one, but it was only this morning. So, uh, all well and good. Started out to do a bit of alterations here. Ended up doing all sorts of stuff and uh, You'll pretty much see across them that swims. That's got no bark. In the boat, ash gleaming. Lodge, island. Just get it on the mamies. Just on the oaks down the end there. So ducks don't know what way to go because I'm all over the lake. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, pretty much it for the minute. Get that stone in, job complete. They look, they look, they look nice like that, those green things on the head, wouldn't they? 
Oh yeah. If you're over here. Yeah. Last day, hopefully, round the cow fields. Bit of stone is now going in, as promised. It's took a while, but full workforce is on board. Joe, them two, as you probably know. So we're gonna get that bit of stone in at the very least, get this place up and running. Hopefully get as much as possible round the back done. A bit more underlay and finish off that. But it's a lovely day, fish are spawning. Bushes are out on the uh, terrace over there. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like it and subscribe as well. So next video that pops up, you'll be first to know. And hopefully uh, enjoy yourself watching until you get to get here finally. But I'll show you around once we're done. But for now, I've got to crack on. So finally the wheelbarrow is empty. And we have what we're going to call finished. That's still got to be whackered down. But uh, I'll allow myself to say it's done. So yeah, we're about done after all that, messing about. A few days, swim's ready to go. Looking a bit better, get a couple of you in there if you want. Greenery is what it is. All the backs banked up. Somewhere to put your old all. Maybe cook a bit of grub. Sit in the shade and we're done. So yeah, long overdue upgrade, but we'll see how long that goes on for now. Keeps us uh, in the mix for a while and hopefully everybody enjoying it. So hope you've enjoyed watching a little bit behind the scenes. And if you're booked to come down, I'll look forward to welcoming you through the gates. If you ain't booked to, to come down yet, you're welcome to give me a call anytime. Number's on the website. Have a chat, ask me a few questions. I may not know the answers, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye-bye.